Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. For those of you who were questioning or wondering where I'm at, I am in Florida. The background behind us is Miami. On this side you can see downtown Miami and over towards that side you can see the design district or midtown. Miami. So just to give you a, a bearing point, and this is um, Biscayne Bay. So we'll dive in. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel, their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self to get the guidance and direction Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. We ask that you are clear and concise and show them exactly what they need to know. So let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day sharing it with you guys. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages do you have for Pisces at the... Okay, hold on. So we have the Seven of Wands. Standing your ground, being in your courage, maintaining healthy boundaries. What other messages do we have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? So I'm, I'm also getting standing your ground in faith that things will work out. And I'm also drawn to the fact that beneath... The figure is a stream or some type of blue fluid, right? It looks like as though you're bridging the gap here, um, having the courage to stand in your truth and allow the flow to come towards you. Let's see what else we get. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces? Then we have justice. So some type of decision or truth. I'm, I'm feeling clarity is coming as well. What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? Standing in your truth. What other messages do you have? Standing for what you know to be right. In, you'll have success and victory and rewards for the work you have done. For some of you, you have taken the high road in a very difficult situation. And because you have followed that high road, you will come out ahead in the situation. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? And then we have the Ten of Cups. So you're going to have emotional contentment and fulfillment as a result of sticking to your guns and following um, your true north. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? Acting in accordance to your conscience. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please? Anything else for Pisces? And then Pisces, we have the Eight of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So whatever situations or circumstances or even mental constructs you might be challenged with or maybe keeping you held back, restrained, or even if it's slight feelings of apprehension, there's going to be some type of truth or clarity that comes in to help free those binds from you to allow you to move forward. And the Ace of Swords here is also the, the Sword of Truth that we see in the Justice card. So there is going to be some type of truth, some type of clarity, and also the Six of Wands with the Ace of Swords speaks to victory and success and overcoming. Let's go ahead and get clarity for you now, Pisces. Spirit, please come here and clarify this message for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Wands? What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Wands, please? What does Pisces need to know? Thank you. And we have the Two of Swords. So... You could definitely be in a situation where there's a stalemate in a, or you may be dealing with somebody who's very difficult. Let me see what else we get for this Seven of Wands. Spirit, what else do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Wands? And the Hierophant. This could be an organization or a commitment. The Hierophant is a card of Taurus and Taurus energy. Um independent of the person, Taurus energy can, in fact, I mean, they are the zodiac of the bull, so they can be very stubborn and in their place or in the, in their, um, very concrete in what their beliefs are. And here, it seems as though there's a particular, now, whether this is you that is not budging from a viewpoint 
or a way of being, or if this is somebody else that you're really having to stand your ground with because they're coming off as very rigid, very in their way, no, it shall be this way and I'm not open to anything else. Anything else for the Seven of Wands for Pisces? Anything else for Pisces for the Seven of Wands spirit? And we have Tower. So what happens if we think about this from a very logical point of view? If you have something like a wall, right? And it's not moving. It's very stubborn. It's not going to move. It's not going to sway in the wind. It's not agile. It's not responsive. After a while, a wrecking ball is just going to come in and crash it down because it's not moving and this is what we're seeing here is a situation or a person or circumstances or belief structure that you're experiencing that seems to be immovable, very stubborn, very resistant, um, closed off and unable. You know, I would say they're, they refuse to see other points of view, but, you know, honestly, I think it's almost as though they're literally unable to. So there's going to be something that comes in to this situation or impacts this person that really crumbles down the structure here. And as that happens, you're going to be standing firmly and very solidly because you've seen this and, and you've prepared for this. You have seen what the implica implications and the impacts are of not being able to be agile or flexible and you understand that things that don't have flexibility are eventually going to be knocked down spirit what is this justice card whoops fuzz what does pisces need to know about this justice card please spirit what do you want pisces to know oops hold on one second guys get a grip joe all right what is this justice card for pisces okay so we have two different storylines coming out for this justice. Pardon my sniff. All right. So here, wow, look at this, guys. So for there's two scenarios for this justice. So take whichever or both resonate with you. But what we see here is out of this, this is effectively the root cause here, this immovable person or situation that's bullheaded, resistant to change, you know, their tower is going to get knocked down, right? Or there's a tower going to be knocked down here, but you've been standing in your truth, right? You've been standing in your courage, in your truth, and handling the adversity that this, that is being caused by this person's very rigid demeanor. Now here, what we're seeing, Pisces, is justice is coming in. There's going to be a balancing out of this energy of, of people, situations, and things that were very rigid and stuck. Um, and here, <clears throat> pardon me, and, and stuck, right? Oh my gosh, hold on one second, guys, hold on. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I was out on my balcony earlier, and I, I think the pollen -y stuff is like, being my friend right now. All right, so anyway, back to the reading. So here, justice is coming in and it sees the difficulty that this situation has put you through and how draining it has been to stand in your power and in your strength through, you know, unreasonable difficulty. Like there's no reason this person or situation need to be so difficult, but it's almost like it was because it could be. Like the person knew they didn't have to be so rigid and you were more than willing to, you know, work with them in any way or just, you know, like team up, like let's work together, you know, like work with me, not against me. But instead of doing that, they just made yours and other people's lives more difficult. It's like they just sunk their heels in and were just like, no, I am immovable. And that is exactly that Taurus energy of being stuck in that um, belief system or, or, or a tradition or a convention and, you know, but the tower is going to crumble there. And again, we have justice coming in here in order to balance this situation out where you've had this hardship and it's going to bring you into this empress mode. So some, you're going to receive some type of blessing or up leveling or um, abundance. So however, the abundance may come in multiple different ways. We'll continue with the reading and see what spirit has to say about this. But as a result of the difficulty, you're going to have some type of abundance 
blessed upon you. Let's see what the other area is here. So now the other part of this justice card is you, baby. Hey, so we have your energy popping up. Queen of Cups, feminine, independent of gender, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what else is going on. Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be abundantly blessed. Like you're going to have some type of opportunity, whether it's a partnership, relationship, your security and stability is going to be... Um, I'm hearing solidified and they see that whoever they is in this particular situation, um, whoever's dealing out justice, whether it's divine or at work or in whatever situation, they see that you came to the table just as we were saying a moment ago and you're like, you know, work with me, not against me. And as that, as they see that, they understand that you are a team player and that you were not the one who was being resistant here. And there's going to be some choice. So as we were saying, this could be a partnership or some type of blessing coming upon you. And with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, this could be a new relationship or this could be a new blessing that, as we just said, is bestowed upon you. So let's go on to the Six of Wands. As we were saying, the Six of Wands is that recognition and reward for what you have done and what you have overcome. Spirit, what is the Six of Wands for Pisces? What do you want? Thank you. So here for the Six of Wands, Pisces, we're getting the Queen of Swords. So some of you could have been dealing with a feminine air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or this is, I'm feeling more strongly that you are being rewarded for your neutrality in a very difficult situation that you dealt with it from a very logical, methodical point of view and did not allow your emotions to dictate the outcomes even though within you the emotions were certainly being felt and you were just like what the heck is going on this is ridiculous but nonetheless you showed up with your a game so then we have the ace of wands so now we're going to have a new opportunity for you something is going to grow from this and it's going to be in alignment with your wish fulfillment and your destiny the stars are aligning to bring this new beginning towards you as a recognition of the success and what you have overcome so let's continue, Pisces. And the Queen of Swords with the Star card, that's also Aquarius energy. So it could have been something that happened during Aquarius season, or it could have to do with somebody who has Aquarius in their chart, but that's for less of you. What is this Ten of Cups, please, for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Cups? What is this Ten of Cups? And we have the seven of wands. Look at this. You stood your ground and, and you remained in your truth. You followed the high road. And because of that, you are in a place where you did not compromise. You did not sacrifice your morals, your, your integrity, but you took the high road and you stood in the face of adversity and you did the right thing. And this is going to bring you, as a result, the rewards and recognition are going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and contentment. So what is this Eight of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? Good job, Pisces. Good job. What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this? <clears throat> Pardon me. So here with this eight of swords, we have a few things. We have the page of pentacles, some type of offer, opportunity, or message um, regarding a burden that you have been carrying that really caused you a lot of heartache and pain. And we have the king of pentacles. So for some of you, this is dealing with a masculine, independent of gender, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, who put... Put, I don't want to say put you in a position, but as a result of the engagement you had with this, and this could be even at work as well, um, put you in a position where you felt as though you were bound or didn't, you could not move about freely. For others of you, this is saying that as a result of the pain and as a result of the difficulty you have endured, you are going to be very much rewarded, which is, this is, again, the theme of this message is, you know, we see the pain, the burdens you have carried, and that even though you were in a very uncomfortable, unfortunate um, situation that you probably should have never been in, you are going to come out ahead. And we see how it held you down, 
But during that time, you could have chose to let it bring you under, but instead you chose to rise up and bring forth your best self. What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Swords? I mean, this is the clarity and the truth of the situation. The cutting away of the things that previously bound you and, and tried to keep you feeling small. What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? The arguments of strife. Let's see, what else do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? What, do, what else does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Swords, please? There's a scene clearly of the... Yes, okay. So there is a, a truth coming out about the circumstances that you have been going through. People were trying to keep others in chaos, possibly telling falses. We don't have the Seven of Swords out here, but we do have the devil energy keeping you chained, keeping you held down, keeping you bound through chaos. For some, there might have been chaos magic involved, right? For others of you, it was just a very narcissistic dark energy that was really working to cause this chaos and confusion with other people so their opinion of you would be that you are one of conflict, you're always causing problems, you, you know, like telling the story. But the truth is that was more of a projection of what this person was actually doing because they were trying to like effectively game the system or, you know, they were using very mani manipulative tactics in order to get themselves ahead or self-promote or just to keep you held down. But the truth is coming out. The sword of justice is, you know, very sharp and it's double edged. So as somebody tries to cut you, they didn't realize that the other side of the blade was cutting themselves. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. I mean, this person didn't understand the, the gravity of the consequences of their actions. And we have triumphant success, success again. This is the Ace of Swords. You're gonna come out ahead of this, Pisces. Whatever this is, truth is being shown. You're going to be blessed either in the 5D or 3D. Like you are, things are going to be course corrected. You have sacrificed much. You maybe have even had to coalesce or, um, Take a couple steps back in order to really, in a non-confrontational way, deal with the situation in the best, most peaceful manner. And as a result, we have foundations and achievements. You know, we have that you're going to be recognized for what you have brought during a period of adversity and difficulty. The truth is going to come out about situations and people and things that have really been, um, what is it, antigens or things working against you, whether it's people, a situation or energy, you know, this is going to be um, not even muted. It's going to just be severed. Spirit, one card for the one oracle for this message. Thank you. Yes. Just say yes. Period. Yes. I receive it. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Yes, I receive it. Just say yes, baby. All right, let's see. Let's let's get some rebel deck cards to see if we can have some spice here. Ooh. All right. So, you know, spirit is like sending you very positive energy right now, Pisces. And they say, laugh, honey. Just laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor, right? So look, you know, just say yes. Invite positive vibrations and understanding you took the high road in a very difficult situation. You have, in some cases, you have allowed things to take place because it was a path of least resistance, but also because you chose to take the high road. And you are going to be, I'm hearing, bountifully rewarded. So just say yes, baby, and laugh. And you know who you are, and there's power in your being true to yourself and, and true to 
you're conscious. This is a message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.